15, 10. Let's push through the center. Let's grab. Let's grab again. Interesting situation. Let's attack the F pawn. Knight comes out. Develop the knight, supporting the pawn. Cracky. All of that thinking for that. Let's go here. Let's attack the knight. Take with a check. Queen takes. It's castle.
Ну и мы друг друга так. Have the pole. Queen takes. What if we just queen opposite? In the bishop. It's a very tricky game because they are definitely using like the initiative um, as we've mentioned previously games like Paul Morphy, William Steinitz where they if you attack them they seem to just say well 
I care not, I'm going to attack you. So keeping them in the initiative always on their side as best possible. Not in every single game of theirs, but the ones that I've highlighted for myself when I've uh, researched their games. It's really interesting to see that element of keeping the initiative. That's what this opponent's doing, they were constant attack positions, they're taking the time looking to find those attack positions. Is he going to look to do something here? Does that win them something? Because they'll be worried. I mean, I really wanted the bishop to be here because then it would have just been able to take the rook off the board because the rook is trapped in. So they must be thinking at some stage they need to release this because the dark square bishop is hunting it down. So if we get to here, then we will have the opportunity to get it in there. So for a moment, they've got the queen under attack. They like in this position still though, in a sense. So the rook's defending this pawn at the minute, because the idea is if they take here, if this rook wasn't here, this pawn wouldn't be able to take it back. So the rook is saving this position at the moment. I think he's going to want to stay on this line because he still wants to favour that because he's believing the rook is going to be coming across here at some stage. But they never do what I say. They are doing recently, which is quite good. So we must be getting better at the old uh, calculation type situation. But I definitely always have to say in my head, they're not going to do what I want to, what they, what I would prefer them to do. So I'm hoping that they do. Unless he's going to save his pawn, you know, which that might be an option for them, just bringing it back here so we don't get this pawn. So after all that thinking, you'd think that that's pretty simple to actually do, isn't it? But they're probably looking for that initiative that we're talking about. And for me, potentially keeping that, although the rook is still defending there, I bet you to come here. Sacrifices, rook taking, queen taking. Don't know if that works for them. Nah, that's not going to be anything like that, don't think. So if it's Oh, he has gone there as well. So it's good. Yeah, like I said, initiative. They wanted to keep this line because of what we'd explained. The issue we have is if we take this pawn, his rook is going to take the bishop, isn't it? So we need to reposition this bishop somehow. Maybe bring the bishop and attack the pawn. Really wanted this position though. This is something I can do to create a kind of initiative. Oh, I could take this pawn. And I'm on his bishop. And then it makes space here if we're allowed to. Let's go with that. And then just, we want to get this rook. They might see it, but they've got things to think about now because we're attacking their bishop. So you'd think the bishop is going to move to somewhere safe. Gives us time to... And the rook, there's nothing that can defend the rook at that point. So he either loses the bishop or he loses the rook. So maybe the rook comes here to defend. Ah, yeah, that's the one. Because then when we come here, then he's got space to move his rook out of the way. Okay, so he saved his rook. Fair enough. Damn it. And his queen is now on our pawn as well. So that's the tail of the tape on that picture. Ah, oh, gutted now, gutted. Yeah. I see it all. OK. 
Okay, so this pawn is under attack from the queen. He's still looking for the cheap shot here. This rook needs to be defending. Could bring the bishop here attacking this pawn. X ray through to the rook. This rook comes to defend. Actually, no, because his queen will just take the pawn and it's defending there. So we may as well just push this pawn up, I don't know. Or bring the queen down and attack the pawn. Bringing the queen down, attacking the pawn, it's defending the pawn as well. So they must have been gutted that they lost the initiative for a moment having to come and defend the bishop. So now they want to maintain maybe some sort of attack here. Bit of a weakness here because the pawn is, you know, I don't want my queen defending it forever and a day so I'm going to have to push it up. I'm trying to look for positive manoeuvres, you know, that aren't going backwards. So it's, uh, Looks like he's given up his bishop, but the queen is protecting it. So the rook is now attacking here. So this is it's like an initiative um, master, isn't it? So we'll go here. And yeah, also then next bit of initiative is rook coming here, attacking the queen. So he's all over me. He's all over me. I mean, we could sneak around here to come and get this pawn. And his rook's coming here, facing the king. So it's a small bit of initiative that we've got going there, but it's going away from the king. It's not meaty enough. Bring the bishop here, defending the pawn. It's a whole heap of defending though, isn't it? Because it's still going to come down here. And then this pawn's getting taken. So if we push this, and then he takes the pawn, we can't do this because he's got the cheapy. And then if we attack the queen, he just takes the pawn. Hmm. How's here? How's the? We go here, he can take, he can take. It does look ugly though, it looks very bitty. Very bitty indeed. Simple defense. the queen defending the pawn that's no good and I'm going away from my king as well Why they're taking so long? They know. <laughs> no, they're going not there. Sorry, they're going here. So yeah, see, I don't know why they took so long over that. That doesn't make any sense.
looking to cause some trouble. Might be opportunity to hit the rook. Now has a two on one. Let's get this exchange out of the way. Let's get the queen thinking that he's got a nice checkmate, well, but he hasn't. It's just going to be checks on the king. It takes so long over obvious moves, it's, it does get quite bothersome.
That was a totally disadvantage there. They did the move order wrong. Shouldn't that rook have just come here? And what can I do? I have to take. I have to take. Then he takes. Who's stopping this? The king can come here, I suppose. But then. Oh no, the bishop's not there, is it? It's my goal, isn't it? Hold on. Yeah, I wasn't winning that game. I think they did the move order wrong. Let's just have a quick look at that one. Let's jump over. Let's back, 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 back. Just waiting for it to think. So let's do it from this point then. Da, 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 da. Even Stevens looking to exchange. Whoa, not happy with that exchange malarkey, is it? Queen comes down. Whoa, look at that. Massive. Oh, doesn't like that pawn move either. Sharp, okay. Well, I can see why in a way, but we were just wanting to take any initiative type abilities away from them, which seems to kind of work for a little bit here. It's like taking the sting away a bit, capture, capture. But they seem more active here in this position. They look more active. Yes, we've got these pawns on the far side, but in my head I'm thinking well we're not winning this he's going to squish us somehow and he's obviously going to be putting checks on the king I'm not sure if there was a check a mate you know a mating thing but he may be able to peel off these pawns while we're constantly getting checked or there was a repeated repetition um, position that potentially could have gone so we brought the bishop back blocking so then they started attacking down this side here. I'm thinking, oh, that's a bit of a problem. But then I realised that it's only one pawn. doesn't have any other pawns linked to it. What damage can it do? So we're starting to push our pawns up, supporting with it. Now, this is where I thought, well, is there going to be a repetition? But his bishop's not got a check on the king. So he can move the rook. And then they start pushing this pawn. I'm thinking, oh, this is it. In fact, yeah, the gauge bars are um, agreeing with me. So we start pushing up and I'm thinking, is there a way of him getting this rook here and then my king's trapped? I can't move anywhere. You know, if he gets this bishop here, which is, I think that's probably what they did actually, but then we can move the rook here, king here. Yeah, that's what they did. So we moved the king, but still in the back end, I'm going, I'm getting trapped now. So they moved the rook across, so I'm not sure that was the right one, was it? Rook g2. Ooh, rook g2. With a check. Small potatoes like them. Go here. Bishop takes something. Oh, wins them a tempo to get the pawn off the board. Yucky doos. Well, that was the picture I had in my head of them being able to take off, you know, the b and c pawns with the constant checks on my king so that was the worry so i think if they'd have maintained that they would have been in better shape oh it doesn't like that pawn move either oh my gosh oh this is coming up to where i think they were definitely winning yeah so i should have moved my bishop but then he's pushed the pawn down 
which is giving us an advantage. Didn't feel like an advantage there, so what move up? Bishop takes f2. Right? Taking the pawn. Then they take. So are we ramping these pawns on then? Is that what it's saying? Rook c2. e7. Yeah, so we're kind of ramping them pawns on. Ah, I should have believed in the position. I was just so focused on what the, that rook was doing. I'm like, oh my gosh, we need to defend ourselves somehow and get these pawns pushed up. We're never going to get them up. Uh, okay, capture. Oh, look at that. Yeah, I think this is where I says, well, they could just drop down here with a. Ch oh, it's not that one. It's not that one because the king can come and protect. Oh, interesting. So, what is it? Bishop e4 check. King can't come here. Oh, lordy, it does. Has to come there. One. Bishop takes b2. Why can't I take there? Can I not? Oh my god, he's got a double check on us. Oh my life. Yeah, horrendous. Yeah. Should really never have let it get to this stage. Should have focused a little bit more. 